Now I've shown you how the IP works standalone. I've also shown you how it works inside of Ableton Live. I showed it in Suite, but it comes with Ableton Live Lite, which works the same way. Now I want to show you how it works inside of MPC, because this is a really liberating way to perform. Um, so if you have the MPC Studio, the MPC Touch, um, really anything that's going to be using the software, now we can integrate VIP and MPC together. So I'm going to say to it, preferences, I want the audio output to be my MPC. So there we go. Um, let's start by just quickly capturing a beat inside the MPC. So let's go and check out the different content, uh, content inside of the MPC. Um, so let's go down, hear these tracks. <laughs> Great. So I'm going to use that track or that, that program with those different sounds. So I want to record down a quick beat. I really like the BPM 136, so I'm going to put it to 136 to start. And uh, we're going to do overdub play and get a good stem going. So I'm going to go to a new track, and this tracking is set up as a plugin. And now I can go and take a look at my different plugin options. So right at the top, I see VIP there. I'm going to press select, and that's going to load it in. What's going to happen with my CTRL 49 is, is it's going to notice that it's been launched, and it's going to take me right into the interface. So now inside of VIP, I can do much like I did in the other videos. I can go and browse and find different sounds. So let's go and say I want something that sounds broken. And I want something that is dark and broken, maybe something uh, that's dynamic as well. So I'm going to go down and open up this ghost patch. So to get the MIDI messages sent into the computer, let's check out the preferences and set this up as a MIDI input. We'll press preferences, and then I'm going to say MIDI. And then down below, I'll just select the control 49 as an active MIDI input. Now that plugin's going to sound for me. So let's uh, add a few sounds on top of that as well. Right now it's a really good pad. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to say I want to clear all. And let's go up to the top and I'm going to say I want to look based upon instrument. Maybe I want an organ. So I have 302 different organs inside and maybe I want uh, a lead organ. Let's go over here and I'm going to say shift and turn my wheel to get to the next available slot. And let's load in this, uh, let's see, let's do the hybrid there. So now I have those two sounds on top of each other. I'm going to turn up the volume a little bit. If I want to go in and control it, I'm going to press control. I mean, I'm just going to turn it up a bit. Bring it down just a touch. So I have this beat program now. If I want to track on top of it, I'm going to press overdub. And now I have that captured through VIP. 